Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a document gallery in Elementor. It can be PDF document gallery or it can be Word or Excel documents gallery. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create a document gallery in the default Gutenberg editor. Now we are going to use the same plugins and we are going to create the document gallery for the Elementor page builder. So this is the document gallery that we created in previous video. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. This plugin is compatible with Gutenberg and it will add a block in Gutenberg. So let me show you, this is the page on which we created the document gallery and we are using Gutenberg on this page. Now here you can click on add block and search for cat folders and it will show the document gallery or the image gallery for the Gutenberg. Now, what if you are using Elementor? You can use these same plugins to create document gallery. However, you just need to create a short code which can be used on any page builder such as Elementor or DV page builder. So let me show you the plugins that we installed. These are the plugins cat folders document gallery and the basic plugin is cat folders light. So if you do not have it, you can simply go to add plugins and search for cat folders. And these are the two plugins that we installed cat folders WP media folder. This is the basic plugin and this is the new plugin which will create document gallery. Once you install these plugins, you will see the option here cat folders in the left hand panel and under that you will see all document galleries. Click on it. So basically you are going to create a document gallery under cat folders and you are going to use the short code on any page builder. Now before that we can create a folder for the documents in the previous video I have shown you how you can create folders. So this is the folder that we created and under this folder we have six documents three of them are PDF two of them are Word document and one is Excel document. So using cat folders you can create a folder for the document so you can create multiple folders and you can use those folders to create the document gallery. So let's go back to documents gallery and we are going to create the first gallery. So click on add new document gallery. Just name it as document gallery one. And here in the right hand panel, you will see the settings for this particular gallery. And this is the short code that you will be using. We have one folder created for documents. I'm going to select that one. And in this folder, we have six documents. The title tag here, you will see the title tag. It shows cat folders. I'm going to change it to, let's say documents. And icon folder, this is the icon. A link to, now here you will see the option link. When someone click on the document, it will open the document in pop-up window or it will preview the file or it will download the file. So I'm going to select preview file. And this is the limit of the documents to be shown on a single page. If you have multiple documents, it will create pagination and it will go to the next page. Now here you will see display options, library icon, library title so you will see the title and icon here and sort by title and sort by ascending or descending now this is the search bar you will see the search bar at the top if you want it at the bottom you can select bottom or you can select both top and bottom right now it shows the list you can change it to grid and we have three columns you can change the number of columns now I do not want to show type or size or updated. So I'm going to disable these elements from the gallery. So you will see only the title and the download link. All right, now let's publish it. Now go to pages. So here I have one demo page which I can edit using Elementor. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to add a new section here and click on the plus sign, search for short code, drag it and drop it here. 
Now let's go back and copy the short code from here. Paste the short code here, click on apply. So this is how it looks here in the edit section. However, when you publish it, it will show the grid layout. So click on update. And let's go to view page. And this is how it will look. You will see the grid layout here. If you want list, you can use the list layout or grid layout. Now, if I click on the document, it will open the preview of the document. If I click on Word document, it will give you an option to download the document because we do not have the preview of this Word document in this browser. Yeah, I'm using Firefox here, so it's not going to show the preview of the Word document in the Firefox. Now, if you want to customize the layout, you can go back to the document gallery and from here you can change the layout. Let's say I want four columns, so I'm going to select four columns and update it. Let's go back to page, refresh it, and you will see the changes on the actual page. So you don't need to go to the page to edit the gallery. You can go directly to the gallery section. And from here, you can change the settings of the gallery and it will be reflected on the actual page. So here in this example, we have created a short code to show the document gallery on the Elementor page builder. In case of Gutenberg, you can create the document gallery directly on the page itself. And if you're using any other page builder on your website, you can create the document gallery and use the short code to show the gallery on the actual page. So if you want to watch the previous video for more information, I'll give you the link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.